I never intended to discover stainless steel. I was working on an entirely different problem. It was 1912 and I was working for Perth's as the head of their new research laboratory. I was invited to go down to the Royal Arms Munitions Factory in Enfield in London. They were having some difficulties with erosion inside their, their rifle barrels. And this was causing fouling and leading to poor accuracy. I suggested to them that it might have something to do with the steel they were using and that they'd be better using a steel with a, a low carbon, high chromium mix. That would probably sort out their difficulties. I returned and I attempted to make just such a steel, but I had no joy until we started using the electric arc furnace. It was our second attempt with that furnace on Wednesday the 13th of August 1913 that was successful. We have very low carbon at 0.24% and high chromium at 12.8%. I was studying the metal under the microscope when something really rather unusual happened. I was attempting to etch a sample using a reagent and it would not corrode. And I was using nitric acid. <laughs> Impossible. Next, I tried to make the metal corrode using vinegar and food acids. Surely they would stain it and mark it. But no. The result was exactly the same. No corrosion whatsoever. Incredible. <laughs> I could not wait to report my findings to the directors. The possibilities were endless. Not just rifle barrels, but artillery pieces and even cutlery. Yet I was somewhat taken aback by their response. Ridiculous, Brearley. Everyone knows that steel corrodes. Just as wood rots, so steel rusts. I'm actually quite stubborn, you know. I get that from my mother. She fought hard to bring up eight children in the midst of grinding poverty. I wasn't prepared to take no for an answer. That's when I came here to the Portland Works to see Ernest Stewart. He was works manager here at RF Mosley's. He was convinced that a rustless steel would be ideal for knife blades. That is, if such a thing could possibly exist. I remember his exact words. I'll give it a go, he said, but it's not bloody likely. It's contrary to nature. We were successful and we made a number of knife blades over a period of time. These we distributed to our friends with strict instructions to use them and return them if they should be tarnished or corroded by contact with food, fruit or condiment. And to this day, not a single one has been returned to us. In fact, I've got mine here. See? No stains. <laughs> no time at all, Stuart had ordered seven tons of what he called stainless steel and other cutlery manufacturers were after samples. I had developed the steel on my own time and at my own expense with Mosley's. I had not received any help or encouragement from first, in fact the exact opposite. So it was with sadness and regret that I tendered my resignation and walked away from the company I had served, man and boy, for 30 years. Yet tonight is not a night for sadness and regret, but for joy. For believe it or not, I have been awarded the prestigious Bessemer Gold Medal for outstanding services to the steel industry. Whoever would have thought that a cellar lad from the slums of Sheffield would receive such an honour? Certainly not I. Oh, good heavens, is, is, is that the time? You must excuse me. 
I must be on my way. I don't want to be late for my own presentation. That would never do.